So now let's discuss about parking spot service. So the first responsibility that parking spot service would have is to create a parking spot. Now, since there are three types of parking spots, so the first approach that would strike your mind is to have three methods. That is to create mini parking spot, compact parking spot and large parking spot. So all three methods would look like this, where they would take a floor number and they would create a parking spot. But all the work is redundant. So I feel we should optimize it. How? Let's have a method create wherein what if we take some sort of value which states that we should create mini parking spot compact or large. Okay. Let's take enum for say an enum which is compact mini and large. So we'll pass parking spot enum here and floor number. So now what can be done is we can check if this enum is compact. So we can use a switch case here wherein we can check if this parking spot enum is compact then we can create a compact parking spot and return it else if it's mini we can return mini parking spot and say it goes for large so the return type should be parking spot but like we have seen in the previous chapter this switch case it will violate open close principle because going forward tomorrow let's say a new parking spot comes in then we'll have to change this method create so what are we doing if you see we are just checking if the enum is compact, then we are creating new compact parking spot, right? And we are passing in floor number here. So what if we have some sort of mapper, which tells us if we have this enum, we have to create object of this class. If we have compact enum, then we have to create object of compact parking spot. Same goes for other two. We can have that sort of mapper. This is one. Second approach could be if we give this enumeration class the responsibility to return us the class of the parking spot. What if we give this enumeration class this, this responsibility? Then our switch case statement will go away and we'll simply get the class whose object we want to create. So what we can do is compact would return compact.class same way as mini will return mini.class same goes for large will return us large dot class since we want to return the class of the parking spot we will have to have the method of get parking spot and this is how our parking spot enum would be created our method is quite simple now we have gotten rid of the switch case statements also and we have only one method create method great is play service okay we have display service now so what's the mean or functionality. So display service has the responsibility of changing the count of parking spots in the display board. Since there are three types of parking spots, three different data members showing free uh, mini spots, free compact spots and free large spots. So we will have to make three functions then saying change mini spots. What will we get? We'll get the integer change, right? And if a vehicle has come so the change could be positive one and if the vehicle has exited the change could be minus one right same way is change compact pot again in change and change large pot again the same change don't you think we are doing the same job in again all the three functions and there is too much code here again we're doing the same thing right so can we optimize it here only yes we can how can we we already have enum here right of parking spot compact mini and large we already have this enum right so what if we make a function change we pass the enum of which parking spot do we have to change so parking spot enum and of course int change right and we can do our job here if by checking pa uh, which parking spot enum is it can this be done yes this can be done but again you would think of the same thing that going forward if there is a new type of parking spot that is introduced the case statements had to be changed right which again would be uh, violating open close principle okay one thing is pretty much clear display service is using display board so it will have display board as a data member right which we have forgotten so of course it will have display board as the data member now we have re reduced our piece of code from three big functions to one function to one method so let's remove it now we have to think of how can we do this right so now if you see we already have parking spot enum so in display board 
rather than having these three counts here what if we have a map of enum and the number of free spots that are there for that type this should be good right because in that case in display board since we have a map of parking spots we need, we will not have to check which type of enum it is straight away we can you know we would be able to free do this free spots dot update for which type of spots do you want to update this spot and this should be good right and it will remove our case statements so let's change the data member of display board from three integer variables storing the free counts to a map okay let's update this so map of parking pot enum comma int free parking spots okay and this should be pretty much it we now just are left with one small function one small method which is change and this will take care of everything okay so return type can be void right now let's say five vehicles entered five times the service has been called so don't you think there would be five different instances of display board being made yes which should not be there right which i'll show you in the code should we make display board as a singleton class i think yes we should make display board a singleton class so that every time we are changing we change it in the same display board if you want to learn in depth about singleton design pattern we have made a chapter by the name of logger in fundamentals please go ahead and watch it we have explained everything about singleton design pattern over there so uh, we will make display board as a singleton class we are done with display service also let's go for payment service now so right now it's mentioned in the question uh, that there are different types of uh, payment methods right that's why we are making a payment service so till now we haven't made any payment method to keep it simple let's just imagine that there are two kinds of payment methods card and cash right credit card and cash let's make payment method both the payment method cash and credit card will have their own ways to initiate the payment so we should make this payment method as abstract okay and payment method will have a way to initiate payment let's say and we should make that function as an abstract class abstract function sorry so abstract initiate payment and the amount should be let's say amount let's keep amount in integers so integer amount okay what should be the return type return type should be boolean if that payment is successful or not so boolean and this should be payment method now both whatever types of payment method are there they can extend this payment method and implement initiate payment in their own ways going forward there could be upi also right now there is card and cash which we are dealing with but whatever cash okay so for cash will also implement uh, it initiate payment in its own way i don't think i don't see any data members for cash but for card there would be data members saying a cvv card number expiry date so credit card will have let's say string card number and integer cvv and of course it will have to implement initiate payment in its own way let's skip expiry date for now all of it is metadata so we have credit card also so i think we are done with payment method now we can easily build payment service so for payment service what do you have to do payment service right now since we have only two different methods of payment uh, let's just have those two ways to accept payment accept cash so first method should be accept cash what should be the argument argument should be just one plain simple amount so int amount and return type can be void here second method that a payment service should have should be acceptance of credit card because we have credit card payment method so accept credit card what will it have it will get card number cvv and amount so string card number int cvv int amount and return type as void again so i think this should be payment service for you so we are done with payment service also let's move to the main service now which is the parking service